All right, continuing with our um, journey into the two-color world, we are in Illustrator, and let's take some of our graphic files, put them into Illustrator, and finish up with the tools and techniques of two-color madness with Illustrator and Photoshop and printing in general. Okay, so let's let's start with our color palette. We want to kind of clean that out and get rid of all the unused colors. So we'll say yes, get rid of those, and for some reason the green seems to always hang around. I'm not sure why. It might be a hexachrome green. It might just be uh, magic. I'm going to leave the black, the white, and uh, those color groups aren't going to bother me. So let's start out by placing one of our graphics. Now. In some cases, you can drag, copy, and paste other techniques to get graphics into uh, Illustrator and InDesign. But the safe and sane way to do it, and you know it's going to work and bring all of its information, is to place it. And what you see is what happened when I placed it, it brought in the two Pantone colors that we created. Now, if we've done our job right, when we place the second graphic, it won't bring another color in it'll just have um, the same colors that we selected in the beginning and so far so good so those are the two uh, big 8-bit uh, sort of formats that we have now remember we also did the um, the 8 or the 1-bit version too uh, let's Let's do a little bit of prep work here. Let's um, let's check out our our tools with Illustrator just for a quick review. If I make a few boxes here, so I've got boxes over boxes. Suppose that I select these guys and I make them different um, different colors. And we'll take a look at the layers here, see where they are. Uh, we might also look at the possibility of adding um, some control to the color here. Let's see, the color window is says it's available somewhere. There it is. So if we took that, turned it down to a tint, suppose we took another one of these and turned it down to a tint. So we've got a several, have several different versions of these things. And this is the kind of stuff you can do to these. Um, go up to overprint preview then we have the opportunity to see what happens if you take an attribute of these and say take that one and overprint it on the blue what you see is you get a darker blue um, than if you had simply blue by the way I'm gonna get rid of this stroke here because that's an illegal move okay I'm not allowed to have a black stroke in a two-color document that doesn't include black. So that one is, uh, if I overprint that one, it doesn't seem to be doing anything because I was, well, I don't know why. It seems to not be overprinting. Oh, the reason why? It's overprinting itself. It's overprinting uh, the darker blue, which is one of those odd things that it doesn't mix and match and take the, long, the stronger color, it takes the one on top. Now if this was underneath, or that one, okay, it does overprint the green here, if the green gets in between that one and the other, the darker blue white bar. So these are the uh, 
the tricks here. You can have your colors knock out, or you can have them overprint. And uh, those are the two tricks on using your spot colors there. Okay, so let's bring in our last uh, star of the graphic wars here. The one bit, place it, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty granular looking. I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to, oops, got shift, drag the corner out here, and I'm going to make it really big. Drag that into place there, and let's see, there's the face hanging around in there. And right now you see that this is black, and I don't want that to be black. It really should be assigned one of these colors, and the cool thing is you can assign it a color just like any other document or any other object. So isn't that kind of fun? And then you can also do the same. You can take a screen tint of that, take the color down if you'd like, for kind of a, a ghostly, magical uh, appearance. And you, you'll blow this up and you see these. These are not bad screen preview images. These are the real, the real deal. You're going to get those big squares, which is kind of a fun graphic effect. The one bits aren't really much use for doing beautiful photography reproduction, but they are pretty cool for for doing some kind of interesting effects. Pulling this down into place here. Our one bit tiff is right here, which is sitting over the top of these these squares. So you could um, you can take these and you can see how the green color sits over the top of the blue tinted box. So you can you can do all sorts of things um, with that. So if you were to take that box, you know, you can do your uh, 50s retro shapes Whatever. So those are the you know, the, the main tricky moves that you do with um, with the two bits. I mean the uh, the two spot colors and the way we want to neaten this up by putting those two images up on the top. Okay. So those are the main moves, and you can check and see how you're doing on this with the uh, really important separations preview. We've already got the overprint preview going on. Now we have these two colors. And if we turn them off, we should see nothing left. If we've made a mistake and put a black stroke or some illegal color in there, we'll see, we would see something in this, in the CMYK zone. Luckily, we have nothing there, so we, we know that the only two colors we're using are the two Pantone colors that we brought in. So that is kind of the conclusion of the cascade of tricks for uh, the two-color, spot-color world.